Hi, this is for um, the, the second Excel homework for this week, the property tax one. Um, let's see. So this is the this is the one that I'm gonna work um, on right now. Excel homework 3.2, property tax. Okay. Let's download the material. And take a look. Okay. Step one: step, start Excel, download, and open the workbook name property tax. We got that. Second one: in cell C8, calculate the associated mill rate, mill rate for the United States. Okay. And then fill cell C8 down the column to cell C59. Format these as currency with two decimal places. Okay. All right, let's go to C8. And take a look, they do explain mill rate right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this and then um, type in the formula in C8. Property tax is often given as a rate dollar per thousand dollar of assessed property value called a mill rate. So what we are doing is um, find out not just the, the like say united states the property tax the average i guess is 1.12 percent and um looks like that's the home value that we're using but instead of saying um out of that two hundred thousand dollar we're saying out of um the mill rate is out of thousand dollars okay so um let's see what i can do so this is out of thousand dollars so I may do some work on, on the work doc, uh, on the word doc before I type in the formula. So what I know is that for a home that is $200,000, the property tax is 1.12%. So let's see, let me get a calculator. I just kind of wanted to see the answer first. So, um, 1.12 percent so i'm gonna have to divide this by 100 and then i will multiply this by the home value 200 thousand okay so the property tax for this home is 2240 uh, i think that's gonna be this actually that's gonna be this one so you know why not equals property tax using percentage um we use this number we divided that by 100 to convert it into decimal right and then we multiply that by the home value and my little calculator um, let me see why is this oh um looks like the that wasn't just they just showed it as 1.12 but this decimal was um the average of all these 50 states so maybe it was more than just that decimal looks like if i show a little more yeah it wasn't just 1.12 so that's why i see a little more here but that's how we would norm normally calculate the property tax using the percent and um it's probably one of the steps that i have to complete but let me see I'm gonna go ahead and format this as currency with two decimal places. Um, but remember, the home value is always saved in C4. Um, so I don't want, if I copy this formula down right now, you'll see how it's not gonna work because it's, the next cell down, Alabama, will use C5. The next one will use C6. The next one will use C7. It's going down. So that's not what I want. So remember, we've been doing this for a while. Let's go ahead and put absolute reference on c4 put a dollar sign in front of c put a dollar sign in front of four hit enter and then we'll i don't know what step i'm completing but i'm gonna go ahead and do the easier one first because that's the one that we usually work with so i did that the property tax using percent um and i never really did this just yet i'll come back to that one but uh instruction i go back here um what did i really did i did d i really did d8 
So what I just did was this. In cell D8, I calculated the associated property taxes for the United States using percentages, and I filled that down on the column to cell D59, and we formatted that as for currency with zero decimal places. Oh, oh, I did currency with two decimal places, so I better go fix that. I'm going to select all my cells here, and then make sure to format it as zero decimal places so just a whole number dollar value okay so i'm really done with step three but now i should really go back and do step two i mean i've never really heard of mail rate before until this assignment but we know what it is it's the dollar amount per thousand dollars so this is what i'm going to do okay um it's going to be well first let's divide that by 100 to get a uh, decimal so 1.12 percent is um, 0 0.0112 and I got that decimal and what we're trying to find is the um, really we're trying to find 1.1 percent of thousand dollar that's how we find the mill rate and that's how much it is that's how much it is and we want to format this as number or I'm sorry currency with two decimal places um, so the mill rate, it's really 1.12% 1 1 of $1,000, which is 11.23 for United States. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy this all the way down. Okay, and that worked perfect. Um, this one right here is saying B9 divided by 100 times 1,000. Um, of really finding the thousand oh, I'm sorry 0.43 percent of thousand dollars and this one was about 1.19 percent of thousand dollars that's what the mill rate is really um so if a house was if a home was or was, oh yeah a home was thousand dollars then my tax would have been eleven dollars and twenty three cents if my home was what thousand dollars in um, Alabama my tax would have just been four dollars and thirty cents Okay, so that's how you do the mill rate. Done with number two. I should do number four now. In cell E8, calculate the associated property taxes for the United States using the mill rate. Mm, okay, so we're actually finding the property tax for um, that home value of $200,000. So let's use the mill rate to do that. Okay, so over here, uh, what can I do? I really want to use the percents here, but that's not what we're trying to do. So what I have to figure out is I have to figure out how many thousands are in this home value. So I'll do the home value divided by 1,000. That's how many thousands can, how many thousand dollars can go into that home value of 200,000, right? And we'll multiply that by the mill rate of $11.23 and I will hit enter. Now, this will work just fine. This will work just fine. Now, let me just format this as currency with no decimal places. That's what they wanted. But this will work for the United States. But you'll see if I copy this down, it's not going to work for the sell down because the home value that we wanted to use is still saved in C4, but uh, the, the relative reference brought it down to C5. This will bring it down to C6. So you know what to do. You know how to fix this issue. Um, make sure you put dollar signs in front of C and in front of 4. But leave the C8 alone because we do want to go down to the next cell um, each time we're looking at the next state. So that's that. And as you can see, they are exactly the same. It's not like we're getting a discount just because we're using the mill rate uh, versus the percentage. So oh, let me do show you one more time though. This is what I typed in. I first divided the home value by 1,000. And that was me trying to figure out how many thousand dollars go into my home value of 200,000. And then I multiplied that by the mill rate of $11.23. I did put the dollar signs in front of C and 4 here because I wanted to uh, use that home value for every state that I was going to find the property tax for. Okay, so copy this down all the way. Once you have the currency with zero decimal places, that's that. And I, I can see these property taxes that we found 
using two different methods are exactly the same. Okay, go back to instruction. I mark that you did it. All right, in cell G28, determine what would be better to choose if you are in charge of deciding for your municipal municipal what the okay municipality how to present property taxes. Mm. Now it's not like one of the taxes is cheaper so what would you go with i think i'm gonna go with the percentage why because it was easier it was much easier i just really did 1.12 percent of the home value instead of finding how much is the tax for every thousand dollar all that i just think it's easier to go with the percentage so i'll say percentage and do click on percentage because that is the correct answer all right done done and then I'm going to save the file and I'm going to submit this. Let's see how I did. Save, 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 save. Close it. Mm, over here. Let me choose the file. Go to download. See, I got too many files here, guys. Which one is it? The one that says property tax. Open that one. Upload. And then submit for grading. Let's see how that went. Go back to the grade book. These are my old ones. Maybe it's just taking longer time to grade it. Come on, my math lab. I want to see how I did. It's a little slow on grading things. Oh, I see it. You see next to it, it says C score. I want to click on it and I want to see 80%. Yay, so that was perfect. That was perfect. That's how you would do this. I did this one pretty quick, so I hopefully that's okay. But another resource for you really is um oh, oopsie, not that one. If you go to Canvas and this is if you go to Canvas, you'll see the Google slides. Um or maybe I'll just yes, I'll I'll go there right now. I'm logging in to go to Canvas. So under modules, week six, um, right here, the Google Slides. If you click that one. So last year I did this, I, I took screenshot. Maybe the formulas that I typed in are a little bit different, um, but this is also there for you. Um, um, if you need more help, okay. So email me if you need anything else, okay? Um, and thank you for watching.